Gardeners, it's Amanda coming to you again from the Garden Works Project, where we educate, empower, and support all food growers in their efforts to nourish their families and to lose the community. So it's the it's early spring, it's the end of March. I've just cleaned up this garden bed, and today I want to apply a cover crop. So to do this, you'll need a garden fork, a package of cover crop seeds, and a watering can with a rose nozzle. The rose nozzle uh, is more of a gentle uh, water flow as opposed to a solid hose, uh, which would kind of move seeds around. So that's what you're going to want if you don't have a rose uh, nozzle. You can use uh, a watering hose and you can use a colander to run it through, to run the water through it. So let's get started. So this garden box is actually going to be uh, planted with basil and tomatoes at the end of May, beginning of June. So because those are such heavy feeders, we want to make sure that this soil uh, has a lot of nutrients in it. So between now and the end of May, beginning of June, we've got about two months. And in those two months, we're going to plant cover crops, which is a combination, this is a combination of peas and oats. So it's going to fix nitrogen into the soil, um, which is great for tomatoes and basil. So for about two months, this is going to grow. It's going to hold the soil down. It's going to trap bees and insects. And then at the end of May, beginning of June, we're going to just kind of turn it over into the soil. And you can also use the pea shoots um, for salads. It's just like a basic baby mixed green, um, so it certainly doesn't have to go to waste. Um, if you do turn it into the soil, all that organic matter is just even better for the, um, um, the plants that you do eventually plant in here, the vegetables and flowers or whatever you plant in here. So to do this, we've already woken up the bed. We've taken all the dried mulch off, the dried leaves. We've, um, broken up the surface of the soil with the garden fork. And now we're going to broadcast these seeds. We're not going to individually plant them. Broadcasting simply means to shake them in an overall manner. So here we go. We've got this whole packet. It's going to go all over. Evenly as much as you can. From here, you could add a very, very thin layer of topsoil on top, or you can just kind of dig in what you just planted. Now, if I were to use a straight hose without a nozzle, the seeds would kind of go all over the place. So that's where we're going to use a, uh, a watering can with a rose nozzle on it to gently water the soil. This soil is really wet because it's been really rainy here in the last couple days, so it doesn't need too much moisture. We just kind of want to weigh the seeds down so they don't um, blow away. So as you can see, the soil the seeds are all dispersed. Put a gentle watering on the top, again, just to keep the seeds down. And that is it. We'll check back on these as they start to grow. Again, in about two months, this should be covered in like a carpet of green peas and oats, ready to um, be tilled into the soil in preparation for tomatoes and basil. So if you got value from this video, please hit like and subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to learn more about what we do with the Garden Works Project, please check us out at www.gardenworks.com org, the gardenworksproject.org rather. And thank you for your continued support of the Gardenworks Project, where everyone deserves fresh produce.